first, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Round one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the tenor. Opens up with a front kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedowns. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. What? The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. So just over 20 total strikes have connected for Daniel Cormier. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Close guard. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to fold him. him. Yep, there absolutely. Real nice body kick land. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Counter left. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice. Another big take. 30 seconds to go in the round. Close guard. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Point sounds for the end of round one. Well, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed... Second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Just a slip there. Cormier gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Strong hook lands. Oh, big left. 
at some point. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! The left looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Cormier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, double leg lands. Right the side control, yep. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Under two minutes to go. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Twenty seconds left. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. And what a round! All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, put their foot on the gas, and really start to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Just missed on the front kick there. He got him. Caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. And that left hook landed on the button. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine... Great timing on that move to take down. Beats the elbow there. to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, we've already got too many Rosendo Sanchez boxing shout-outs in the game, <laughs> but certainly your jab is working tonight. I mean, the jab is working beautifully. Okay, let's go Javier Mendez. There you go. This is a credit to Javier Mendez and the great mind of the AKA legend. Ooh, ooh, he's got him here. sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance today. His best performance today.